Welcome to Goes to Eleven's Vice Squad segment, brought to you by Andrew's Fly Company. My name is Bryce Miller, and today I'm going to show you how to tie my ultra realistic caddis. Today we are going to start our thread, as we always do. Right down the hook shank, and snip that end. And notice I started right about here. That's because right there is where I want to stop dubbing this body. We're going to use olive super fine. Very, very little of it. Oh, it's actually gray olive, my bad. That's about all you want. If it floats, it's what you want, and you're going to take half of that. Dub it on your body, or your thread. Then dub your body. <laughs> like that. Take that extra you took off, and dip it on your thread too. Alright, then we reach the end of our thread. Just pull this off. Tie it off. And we can actually snip that just fine. Without any issue. So now. We're going to tie in false body made of CDC and natural dark dun. This is our CDC and we're just going to grab this point and pull it back. This will cause this false looking body right here. Just snip this end off. So we've got a fiber in there too. but. Don't need that one. Snip it again just to be sure. And there's our body. Grab with that hand. Tie it in. Start up the eye, back. This is where the rest of the fly is going to be tied. Alright, perfect. So now we're going to tie in an origami wing. So, to tie an origami wing, we take a long hackle feather, probably a size 6 or 8 fibers, maybe even longer than that. It doesn't matter for this, we're going to grab, or actually we're going to strip all of one side off in the first place. I already did that for you guys. We're going to grab with our pliers, right on the stem, and then stroke them back like we did with that CDC feather. You can also do this with a good pair of tweezers. I like pliers just because it gives me a little bit bigger grip. And we're going to tie in on the side of the chink. Snip this off right here. We got a couple fibers that got away from us. We're just gonna pull them straight up and then snip them off right there. You can't even tell anymore. So now, if your feather's big enough, we're gonna try to do it with this feather. But no promises, might have to get a new one out. You can do the second origami wing with the same one. Stroke our fibers back. Grab with our tweezers. The only problem is these fibers might be too short to do it again. But we're going to try anyways because I believe in us. Pull back. Perfect. We're going to tie it in. Just like we did the other, right on the side of the hook shank. Cut 
cut that off. Now we have both the body and the wings. Good look at them right there. Look from the bottom to see your body. All right. Keep this body taper. Now <laughs> we're going to tie in two pheasant tail feathers as antenna. Here's our two fibers. Tie them in right past. The hook eye. Tie your other one in. Then we're going to trim. Make sure these are splayed out. We can always work on that here in a second too. So now we're going to tie in this ankle feather like we did when we tied our stimulator. And as I was saying, I got kind of distracted, but this is going to be more for the floating of the caddis than anything. CDC will definitely help, but this is really going to keep it nice, high, and dry. Right, and we're going to go back to our olive gray dry fly dubbing. Pull off a little bit. Dub the thread. Dub right down like we did with that stimulator a couple weeks ago. Now we're gonna wrap our hackle. Nice and tight, even wraps. Catch it. Right at the hook eye, Get nice tight wraps. Against. Now we're going to go under our antennas, a couple finishing wraps, cut off the feather, and then half hitch finish right underneath the antenna, and kind of a splayed up look to them. Snip our thread. And there you have the Bryce Miller Flies Ultra Realistic Caddis. This is a pattern that I was actually asked to do a video on. I tied it quite a while ago, actually. It it's really looks really cool. Pretty happy with it. Once again, thank you for watching today's segment. Um, if I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to buy some great outdoor gear, fishing gear, or even fly tying supplies, go to our store at fishinginoutdoors.ca or .net for uh, international or U.S. shoppers. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little reminder bell. That way you can see next week's segment. I really hope to see you guys again next week. If you have any recommendations for what fly to tie, put them in the comments. And have a great day.